Boss's News Depot was started in 1898 by an immigrant from Belgium, Joe Boss. He was the one who started. And uh, he, he um, wanted to, to do something in, in America. And I don't know what the background is on how he ended up starting a newsstand, but that's what he wanted to do, I guess. And then his mother said, you should have your brother help you, work with you. He evidently didn't have any plans. And uh, so anyway, in the, um, his name was Art. And the only thing I really know about him is that we have the old cash register from when they started. And on top of it is a thing that says AC Boss. Well, that's Art Boss. It wasn't Joe Boss. He let him put his name on top of the cash register. He uh, and hired my dad to work while he was still in, uh, in uh, high school. And I think it was... Uh, because my dad was born in uh, 1910, so he started working for him. It was in 1922, when he was 12 years old. So he's just not even out, not even high school yet. He came and washed some windows, and he uh, helped him do different projects. In 1943, that's when he started in the business, and he worked until he was. I can't remember. I think it was like 89. My mother had dementia, and she was having a tough time. So my dad was sitting on a stool here. He'd come in and work for in the morning a while, take the bus and go home. And he, I was working by the desk here, and he said, you know, I think maybe I better stay home with mother. So I think I'm going to catch my bus today, and I'll call it quits. <laughs> that was his retirement. <laughs> I had taken over the, uh, the ownership from, transferred it to me in, in 1974, it was. And um, so then I've had it ever since. And now my daughter, uh, Lisa Mitchell, and her husband, Stephen, there, is, are taking over the business. And they, they kind of come down and just help them out. They do a lot of book work for them. And uh, I said, do you need me today? Yeah, we can use it. <laughs> come down and help. But uh, so I'm kind of re unretired, I guess you'd call it. If my dad came in the store right now and took a look at it, Honestly, what he'd probably have to say is, you haven't done much different in here. It's the same, <laughs> it looks the same, and it does. Um, and that's kind of for a purpose that it's, it's an old-fashioned newsstand tobacco shop.